is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Which Atmospheric Layer Do Space Shuttles Orbit In? So uh, first let's cover the orbits around the Earth, the ones that are widely used and why are they used for. And then let's talk about the atmosphere for a second right now. Um, if we're going to launch something into space to orbit the Earth, we generally want to be outside of the atmosphere. So the goal to generally launch something into space is to avoid wind, uh, any optical problems, weather. So generally speaking, we do not orbit the Earth in any layer of the atmosphere. We're always above the Kármán line. The Kármán line is about 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And this is when we no longer feel the atmospheric effect. Now, uh, let's talk about the main um, ranges for the orbits. So from space to about 36 thousand kilometers above the Earth's surface, we have the geosynchronous orbits. And this is generally used for somebody who needs to be above the same spot on Earth all the time. So let's say that you have your TV satellite, right? So you, you need to, that TV satellite needs to be above the same uh, spot on Earth. So generally they orbit there and they keep themselves over the same spot on Earth. So as Earth is rotating, this geosynchronous orbit is that will follow that spot. So this is generally for TV satellites, communications, and so forth. Now the middle one is the middle, the middle part is between uh, 2,000 and 36,000 kilometers above the surface. And this is medium Earth orbits. And this is where you actually find GPS and navigation. Um, so a lot of communication sort of stuff uh, military aircrafts and stuff like that. Um, so this is kind of the layer. And now the layer that we care about the most is the low Earth orbits. So this is between about 180 to 2,000 kilometers. And this is where you find a lot of the military stuff. Uh, this is where you find the ISS, International Space Station, the Space Shuttle, uh, the Hubble telescope. So generally, all the astronomical stuff we're doing it from this um, from this orbit. And the Hubble telescope, you can see it about 600 ki uh, kilometers above the surface, so it's pretty high. The International Space Station is about 420, and the space shuttles generally go between 200 and 650. We generally don't go about that 650 because there's no need. I mean, you already avoided the atmospheric effects and then it's easier to go back and forth. Um, you know, easier than if you were 36,000 kilometers above the surface. So generally speaking, this is where we keep the range of the space shuttles. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is in what orbit do the space shuttles stay in? Yeah.